In this video, we're going to be making a web page about Zeus, who is the world's or was the world's largest dog. Uh, it's nothing too new that we're going to learn in this tutorial. It's basically a few new CSS or styling tips that we're going to learn to make our page look a little bit nicer. So let's head over to our accounts and make ourselves a new folder to get started, and we'll call it Lesson 11 Big Dogs. Inside of that Lesson 11 folder, we will have our blank.html file, and all we need to do is open that with brackets. And you'll see in just a moment when it does load up. Just a little bit slow. It is going to be, oh, don't worry about that. It's just the writing that goes onto our web page. Alrighty, so it just saves you having to type it all out. Um, the other thing we need to have in this Lesson 11 folder in our accounts is our Images folder. And inside Images, there's three pictures of Zeus. We're only going to use one, you get to choose which one you put into your web page. Okay, they're all of the same dog, just doing different things. So let's head over to brackets now, where we've got all the writing set up, and we're just going to add our HTML code to it in our CSS. So let's start like usual, up the top, the doc type, HTML tag. Okay. Just before I do get too far into this, I might actually re-save this with a different name. This blank.html doesn't really mean anything. We want to have a meaningful name, so let's go to save as. We'll give it a name like the zeus.html. Okay, that's a bit nicer. So we'll keep going now. We'll push on. Second tags in are the HTML tags. Inside them we'll do our head section where we add in a title. Title today is going to be Zeus, the world's largest dog. Okay, we'll come back to the head section and add our style tags in a little bit later. The next bit though, we will add our body tags in. Okay, and inside the body, we want all this writing down here. So highlight all that writing, Control X will cut it out. Click inside your body section, paste it in with Control V. Might just press Tab to nudge it all across a bit. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is break it up into paragraphs and give ourselves a nice big H1 heading at the top. So the first line in your body section is the H1 heading that says Zeus, the world's largest dog. Everything below that is simply paragraphs. So let's just, oops, let's just split them up. We'll copy and paste the P tag to the start of each paragraph. And at the end of each paragraph, make sure you're putting in the closing tag. So just highlight the closing P tag, Control C to copy, Control V to paste at the end of each paragraph. Okay, looks good. If I save that now by pressing Control S, you can go to Live Preview if you've got that working on your computer. If you're at school, it won't work, so just go into your accounts, into your Lesson 11 folder, open up the Zeus.html file. It should be looking like that so far. Nice big H1 heading at the top, and then some paragraphs below it. Alright, so it's time to style up our page already, so let's go up the top to our head section. Just below the title tags there, we'll add in a set of style tags. Inside the style tags, we'll start with the body. Whatever we um, change in the body section up here is going to affect the whole page. So we'll keep it simple, we'll start with a font family, and choose sans serif like usual. We'll set our font size to 1 em, same as usual, and another one we do is line height, I think 1.5 em looks pretty good on most pages. Close that up with the curly braces there, okay, these three things are going to occur or change our entire body section. So I'll press Control S, refresh the page in Chrome, and you can see now that our font has changed to sans serif size 1 em for all this stuff okay, we've got some line spacing or line height in there 1.5 line spacing okay, let's keep going down now next thing we're going to style up is our h1 heading so right in h1 open up a curly brace what we're going to do is center this heading by using the text align center option we're also going to change its color to a dark color. So in my dark color list here, I think dark magenta is what I'll go with today. Um, another thing we might do is do text 
transform not sure if you've used this one before but we're going to choose uppercase so that's going to put this text here inside our h1 tags into uppercase font okay so we all capital letters we might also change the font family for just our h1 heading to cursive just something new that we haven't used before we can have a look at what it does and just to show you that you can change the font size up here uh, we might change it to 2EM which is double the usual size because we usually do 1EM for our text 2EM will just be double that size so all these changes here are going to affect the H1 tags there's our H1 tags so it should only affect what's inside of them so that's our heading go to file and save pop back to our web browser and refresh it as you can see body text stayed the same our h1 heading though became centered different color different font it's uppercase text now alrighty and it's also size 2 em looking good Let's back to, go back to brackets and we'll keep do, doing a bit of styling next thing I'm going to do I'm going to put a picture in the image will go below this first paragraph okay so there's our first paragraph we're going to click at the end of that below it and we'll put in our image source tags You've got three Zeus pictures there to pick from I'm just going to pick the first one and close my image source tag off okay so there it is there in between the first and second paragraphs when I save it it's going to look a bit ugly okay it just takes up a huge chunk of room and leaves this big empty white space we're going to look at fixing that in a moment but that's the picture there that I've chosen so let's go up to our style tags again and we'll style up this image so write IMG in because we're styling the image tag first thing I'm going to do is float it to the right I'm just going to close my style tags and show you what that does exactly I'll just save it and I'll refresh the page it pushes it over to the right and allows the text to wrap around the picture okay it doesn't look great yet but we're going to make our page look better shortly Another thing we might do to this image, okay, the text does come a little bit close just here for my liking, so what I'm going to do is go back inside the image curly braces and I'm going to put a margin around this picture. I'm going to get 0px, 0px, whoops, shouldn't have pressed enter then. Just putting a space between these, 20px and 20px, so we're doing pixels there for our margin. Control S to save, let's go and have a look at what that does. Okay. Put zero pixel margins around the top and bottom and puts a 20 pixel margin around the sides. Okay, so let's just push that text that was too close to the picture over to the left away from it a little bit. So it's got a bit of breathing room now. A bit like padding, if anything. I'm going to put a border around this picture. So let's write border style. Got all sorts of different styles, but the one I want is just a solid border. And we can change the border color too. And the color I'm going to go with there you go, hashtag 6C3B00, um, do a semicolon. If I hover over that, you'll see that we're getting a brownish kind of color. Reminds me of dogs, so that's why I went with that color. Okay, so all those um, settings there are going to change our image. Move it to the right with the text wrapping around it. A bit of breathing room by adding a margin around the picture. We put in a bo solid border that is a brown color. If we save it, pressing control s and refresh the page that's our picture styled up you can see that brown border now and the other thing I want to do to this um, page is make it look like this okay it looks like we've got a big table in the middle of the page but it's actually a div section okay we've divided our page up so let's get into doing that it's pretty easy just beneath the body tag we're going to make this div so right the div tag in and close it off just before the body tag finishes. Alright, so we'll go in here. So there's our div tags, and we've got all the writing inside those div tags. So we've now sectioned off all of our writing and the picture. And we're going to go back up here to our style tags and style that div section up. Okay, so let's write in div, open up our curly brace. First thing we're going to do is change the max width, oops not the max height, max width to 80% of our page size. 
I'm going to close my curly bracket, save that, and just show you what that does. I'm going to refresh the page now. Our div section, which is just the writing and the pictures, only takes up 80% width of our screen size. Okay, if I resize this browser, keep making it smaller, it does the same. just takes up 80% of the page. Alright, still going. We'll go back in, add some more style to this div section. Next thing I'm going to do is give it a background colour. And the background colour we want, just a light yellowish kind of colour. I'm going to give it a hashtag FDFFF0. Save that. Test it. You can just ever so slightly see a colour in the background there. Our picture's a bit big at the moment, so we'll have to fix that a bit later too. We'll keep going on this div section. We'll give it a bit more style. I'm going to give it some padding and choose 20 pixels. Uh, we're also going to give it a border. Okay, so we'll say border style. Instead of a solid border this time, let's go a, a dashed border just so we can change it up a bit. A little bit different to what we have on the image. And to center this whole div section, all we need to do is write margin as auto. So what we've done there is centered our div section. We've added a border around it which is going to be dashed and we put some padding just on the inside of that as well so the text doesn't come too close to the edge of the um, div section. I'll save it, preview it. Okay, so we've got this border now going around our div section. We've got a bit of spacing so you can see these about 20 pixels worth of spacing around the left there, around the right. Got a bit more around the top there for some reason and a bit around the bottom. I think our page, instead of having a white background, should have a darker coloured background that contrasts well with this light one. So what I might do is go up to my um, body section here and give my body a little bit more style. I'll change the background colour. I'm going to choose like a dark purpley kind of colour. So 4C006D. If I hover over that colour you can see we've got a bit of a purpley colour going on. Save that and test it and we should be looking pretty good. Just this picture we're having a few issues with so we're going to have to make it a bit smaller. So in our style tags, here's our image section. We've only got one image so let's style it up over here. So width. I'm going to have to guess this. We'll go about oh, 350 pixels for the width and the height. We're going to have to guess again. Let's try 350 for that and then we can adjust them after we save it and have a look and see how that's affected the image. Okay, still a bit too high, so a bit too tall. So we're going to have to change this width. We'll try 300 pixels for the height. We'll save it. Test it again. It's just a bit of trial and error. Actually, that looks pretty good. It doesn't look deformed. That picture fits nicely inside our div section. All our text is fitting good. Okay, so there's a few new CSS tricks that you've learnt today, how you can style up your page using those. In the next lesson we're going to be starting to make a website, so we're going to be linking more than one page together. And we're actually going to make a different document for our style tags. They don't always have to go on our web page here, they can go into their own document. Okay, so look at that in the next lesson. Save that up and you're all finished.